Welcome back, it's UX part 4. We're going to be going over sprites, drawing them on a UX canvas, and also masking using them, and nine slicing using them. I'll explain what all of that means as we go on, but let's get into what is a sprite to start with. So a sprite is basically a form of an image that is uh, set up to be used within UX land. Remember, that's the sort of canvas area of all the rec transforms that we were talking about. I want to show you an example of what a sprite looks like, just so you can see that they're nothing scary. They're basically just images, but in UX land. So let's go ahead and do that. If we hop over here into Smooth POV, in Smooth POV here, I'm just going to grab a uh, developer tooltip. You should only need a developer tooltip today. Go ahead and open Inspector, and there you go. At the top here with the trash cans and the up arrow, the star and the square, that is a UIX sprite. In this case, they are using UIX sprites to draw icons, and I'll talk about some of the distinctions there, but they're basically just an image which is converted to UIX space so that it can be drawn. Other examples of this can be shown in any sort of picture that you see within uh, any sort of UIX space. So a um, picture or icon that you might have seen basically anywhere in your X space where I pointed out before um, is an example of a sprite. Let's go ahead and make our own sprites. So we're going to be using um, the uh, campus template from my public folder. Let me just open up my uh, public folder and I'll show you where it is by turning on private UI. So in my private, uh, public folder go to UI stuff, UIX templates, and then the canvas template here on the right. With that spawned uh, in the world, we now need some uh, sprites or images to use as sprites to uh, play around with. We're going to be using icons for this. Um, an icon is basically a uh, specially prepared type of image, um, which has white in the center and uh, alpha around the edges. I'll spawn some out and you'll see what's going on. You can also find these in my public folder as uh, I made most of them. Um, Katzen and uh, Medra made two of the ones you're about to see, but uh, I made the rest and... Uh, they didn't take that long, so just use them for whatever you'd need. So they're inside UI stuff, icons, shapes, and here they all are. They're just various shapes, um, both filled in and not filled in. I needed them for another project, which you should see at some point this year. I don't know when. Uh, so let's spawn out some. I'm going to use the star. I'll also grab the uh, unfilled star for uh, something later. And we'll grab the circle as well. Now it's uh, good to note that you can also use for sprites, you can use regular images. So I'm also going to go ahead and grab a regular image as well. I'm going to be using uh, this uh, leopard from, uh, it just passed around in the early days of Neos. It's sort of a, a meme from the early days of Neos. This le uh, it's not a leopard, it's a cheetah. This cheetah um, had uh, some hip surgery and they were very displeased with how they looked after the surgery. I'll link a uh, a news article in the video description. You see, check a look at the, uh, the cheetah. It's a quite a comical image, but that's just their head cut out. Uh, it was uh, added to a bunch of sort of objects and stuff in the early days of Neos, and I just use it every time I need a, a, a MacGuffin, basically an image uh, to fill a fill a gap. So there we go. Now that we've got our images to use as sprites, let's go ahead and set this up. So we're going to go ahead and inspect the canvas template, and I'll just talk you through briefly what's on here again. So we've got a canvas which is 800 by 800 pixels. Um, it's got an image on it which is black and um, the image component is where we're going to be talking about sprites. As you can see there's a sprite property on that image component. The sprite property is what uh, controls drawing the sprite on the image. You may think that it uh, being near so that you can just drop in an image. So here I am grabbing the star I'm trying to drop it into sprite but that doesn't work. What you actually need to do here is you need to go to attach component assets sprite provider sprite provider and then drop the image into the texture field of sprite provider and then grab sprite provider and drop it into sprite and there you go you'll see that we've now got a uh, black star on our canvas and that's because the uh, icon in this case because it's white it's uh, honoring the uh, tint color of the image that it's being used in so here if i change this tint color from black to red we've now got a red star and there we go we can change that to any other image as well so let's go ahead and move that star out of the way we can, here's a circle there's a red circle. Um, something interesting happens when we use a, a, you know, a conventional picture with it, and feel free to use any picture you've got here if you want to have some fun. Drop in this picture, you now see you've got a red uh, cheetah. And that's because the uh, tint property is actually doing a tint here, and it's tinting that uh, texture to red. If we change the tint back to white here, you'll see that we get the uh, regular cheetah picture again. If we go to black here, you'll see just the outline here. And again, wow, look how fluffy that cheetah is with all those uh, edges there. That's just sort of the outline. I'll leave it as white just for now. 
So that's no fun though, that's just uh, one sprite being drawn. So let's go ahead and play around with multiple sprites being drawn and you'll see the power that's going on here. Before that, I wanna set up a few things. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove the sprite provider from the root here. And I'm also going to go ahead and remove the image from the root here. This is just good practice to get into when you're dealing with uh, complex images and especially um, some of the uh, stuff we'll be covering later around uh, nine slicing. It's good to sort of have a setup like this where the canvas itself doesn't have an image on it. It just uh, helps you out in the future, trust me. So underneath the canvas template, I'm going to create a new child. I'm going to call it uh, background, or just BG for short. And then here I'm going to go ahead and add that image background back in. There we go. Uh, now underneath this, I'm going to go ahead and create another child, and that's where we're going to be start playing with our icons. Let's go ahead and set one up again. I'm going to call this slot image because it just draws an image, and we'll go to attach component UIX UIX graphics image, and then we'll also need the sprite provider. So as its sprite provider, and then let's set in the star here, and we'll make it red. Drop sprite provider into the sprite field. Oops, missed. And you now see that we've got a red star on a uh, white background. Now I can shrink this star down. You can actually see the edges and all of the sort of aliasing around the edges. And that's because this is a quite a low resolution image. It's meant to be used as an icon. And here I am using it as a sort of flag, if you like. So what I'm gonna do here is edit the rec transform to shrink it down a little bit. If you're still unfamiliar with the rec transforms, take a look at part one of the UX tutorial where I talk in depth about them or some of the visual aids from my tutorial folder that talk about them as well. Uh, what we're gonna do here is just set it so that it uh, is in the bottom left hand corner. To do that, I'm gonna change the anchor max of uh, X and Y to 0 0.2. And there you go, the uh, icon is now in the bottom left. It's also a lot uh, a lot less pixelated, now it's smaller. If you go up and zoom into it and put your face in it, of course it's gonna still look uh, you know, blurry, but uh, that's not what you meant to do with this stuff. Let's go ahead and duplicate this image. And I'll show you an interesting property about images and sprites, which is now, let's say I wanted another star to be in the top right, so I can do that. I can go ahead and set it to be, uh, and that'll be, not point uh not point eight in the anchor min on x and y and then back to one on the anchor max for the x and y now we've got a red star at the top right now i'm going to change this second image to a different color so i'll change this red to blue that's not blue that's blue there we go and we see we've now got a red star and a blue star but they're um, two different slots here. So what we certainly see here is the power of UIX for building UI is in that you can have arbitrary sort of image coloring going on and you don't need to create additional materials. Um, the other thing that you don't need to do is create additional sprite providers. You can actually share sprite providers between images. So I could delete the sprite provider here. That will return the red star to a red square. But what I can actually do here, and here's a quick tip, if you know that there is a sprite provider on a slot, so in this case, I know that there's a sprite provider on this image slot, I can grab the word image and drop it into sprite and you'll see it lights up. So these two um, images are now using the same sprite provider. So if I go down to that sprite provider and I swap out the sprite for a different sprite, let's say circle, they'll both change at once. So that they should do uh, some cool stuff there. What's common to see in UX other people have built is they put their sprite providers on different slots. Let's do that for the cheetah. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new slot and we'll call it sprites. And then underneath that slot, we'll create another slot and we'll call that one cheetah. And on this slot, we attach component assets, uh, sprite provider, drop in the cheetah friend. And then we can go back to that image and we can say, hey, drag cheetah into sprite. And you'll see it says sprite provider on cheetah. And that's a Useful tip for the usability of the canvases, you, uh, of the inspector even, you can just drag and drop sprites in, but it's also good to sort of see, hey, where is that sprite? Ah, oh, it's on Cheetah. And then you see it, you go there and you're like, ah, there it is. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate another one here and we'll put it in the middle. The middle is uh, usually the more challenging space to do because what you need to do is figure out a rectangle to draw in the middle. I've actually got a tool to help you doing this. I wanted to introduce this tool. Um, if you go to, my public folder, let me go I'll get back to public, move some stuff out of the way as well. 
turn on private UI. This one's in utilities. I will be remaking it so that it's, that it's oh, not in utilities, it's in tools. Um, I will be remaking it such that it's a little bit more easier. Um, it's this UI calculator on the bottom uh, right here. This is made in uh, old UI and that's just because I needed it really quickly. I've used it a lot since, but uh, what this does is it allows you to create a uh, rec transform that centers things. Uh, what you do is you enter the size that you want the uh, centered rec transform to be. So in this case, let's say 0 0.4, and it will tell you the min and max values to enter. So in this case, we wanted a uh, 0 0.4 sized uh, cheater in the middle of our uh, canvas. We would put minimum a 0 0.3 and maximum 0 0.7. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got our cheater up in the top right here. I'm going to change minimum here to 0 0.3 on both X and Y, and then we'll change maximum to 0 0.7 on both X and Y. And there we go. Now we've got our centered cheetah. We can just change this to white. And there we go. We've got a sort of weird uh, band logo or or cover up going here with our, our cheetah in the circles, but there, there we go. That is uh, UNX sprites for you. Uh, if that was all neat, uh, unclear, do let me know. Um, do play around with them. Try out your own images. Try out those shapes. They're uh, great. Um, I also wanted to show what happens when you use one that uh, has a transparent area in the center here. So I'll uh, go ahead and replace our cheetah sprite with this star. And you'll see that we get the area filled in with the layer behind it. So again, if I go to the uh, one here, we change that to red. You'll see that we've got one that's not filled in there. And there we go. That is UIX icons. Let me check the time on this video. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, I will cover uh, nine slicing in the next one. I did think I'll be covering it in this one, but uh, it's running on a little bit and uh, I keep messing up nine slicing. So I'm going to go do some research, make sure I get that right. I'll see you next time for nine slicing. That'll be part five. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below and check the description for any links to original uh, other videos and also articles on the cheetah um, and uh, links to other parts in this series. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.